The character design for this show is so artistically driven. And I just think it's so cool um, to work on something where there's creative elements that really go throughout the entire story is so much fun because it's so hands-on. I love the character design in this. So in designing this show, you know, Mark and I have been working in the stop motion world for a number of years and we've actually utilized celebrity heads in the past for some of our other shows. So we knew that there was this community of head sculptors who create different uh, celebrity heads. For characters like the Keanu Reeves or The Rock, those heads were in existence, so it was easy to acquire those and have those sort of puppets. But when it came to the hybrid heads of Kevin Hart and Lady Gaga, or the hybrid of Jack Nicholson and Meryl Streep, obviously that doesn't exist. So we reached out to Alexander Ray from Kane Productions and said, hey, We've got this crazy idea. Would you be able to, I don't know, take Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson and mush them together? And he completely took on that challenge. When I start the design process, the first step was just to do some Google searching and look at as many pictures of, of both of them as I could and kind of get an idea of, you know, what their, their most outstanding facial characteristics were. I'll typically sculpt in clay until I get what I feel is a, a decent likeness where I feel like the likeness is beginning to come through. And then I'll take the clay head and mold that clay head in silicone and then take a wax cast of that head. The reason for the wax is just because it's a much harder material and I can attain a much higher level of detail and control over the final sculpture than I could in clay. Looking at, you know, both Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson, Streep has some strong facial characteristics like, you know, her, she has a very kind of almost pointed down nose and usually she has this, you know, smile that makes her cheeks really round. And of course, Jack Nicholson is known for his eyebrows. So I got a good smiling raised eyebrow picture of him. And uh, it was also really important that he has these particular folds in his forehead that are present in almost every picture you see of him. So yeah, I just tried to make sure that was carried through in the sculpt. Meryl Streep Nicholson was their faces as one. Basically, it's Meryl Streep with Jack Nicholson's personality. So, you know, we're looking for the grin, we're looking for the eyebrows, but it's still gotta be Meryl Streep somehow. And when he sent me the first images of the work he had done, I was like, I, I lost it. I really, literally ran around the bus factory showing everybody like, oh my God, look, tell me who this is. Who do you think this is? Somehow when you look at that head, you can see Jack Nicholson, you can see Meryl Streep, they're both in there. I mean, it's, it's incredible. For a little head that's this big, uh, it, it, that's by far one of my favorite things that have come out of this production. It's so cool. Which actors have won more Oscars than anyone else in history? Meryl Streep and Daniel Day-Lewis. What? Are, are you sure about that? Yeah. Shit. Well, this is Meryl Streep and Jack Nicholson. Fucking Wikipedia. Ha, huh. this one's my favorite. Once we got the heads from Texas that Alexander sent us, we basically had these bald sculpts and we need to have women's hair put on them. And you know, that's has to actually be a very tricky process because unlike male characters where you just have the hard top hair, it's basically just sculpted in. Uh, you know, Kevin Hart's beard is just sculpted in there. We actually needed, you know, that, that doll style hair for these girls. So Jennifer literally came in, picked up the heads and went straight to work and got the wigs put together, matched the hairstyles of the two characters we were looking for, kind of a Lady Gaga blonde and Meryl Streep, just like this, you know, older woman's hair on this wild Jack Nicholson face. Let's make a movie and uh, they, they came out great. Those two characters now have me and Carlo very excited about the idea of, you know, if we get to expand this world and bring out more clones, the things that we could do, the, the types of fun character creation we can come up with would really, uh, you know, I'm really excited about, you know, what's coming next.
Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out the reboots. I know you're gonna love it, especially if you watch this entire video. And if you wanna know more about the worlds of stop motion that we create here at Extra Credit Studios, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're putting out new videos all the time, all about everything that we make. So uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, join us in the fun.